So I just want to circle back to the file save as because I think it's super important. And so let's say I've got this image and it's 100% done. Um, I've got it, you know, I maybe got everything that I want. It's not a work in progress anymore. I'm going to go ahead and I've printed this image and it's perfectly how I want it. I'm going to make sure that when I'm in Photoshop that I go to file, save as. And I think it's really important to sort of understand where your files are saving at. Um, and so I want to make sure that I've got my um, demo tutorial set up and I have this edit Photoshop. And you're going to see that I like to have file raw, work in progress, and final images. And you can see that we've got this uh, Union Punk House, we've got this uh, work in progress image already saved. I've got maybe some pictures from the Marengo Railroad. I also um, maybe have some raw files that I'm working on um, in here. And so I like to have this edit Photoshop folder um, for my final files uh, and my work in progress. So I might come into here and I might make a new folder called Union Punks 01. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe save this as print or even maybe final. Again, you guys are going to come up with your own name, but I want to make sure that I have two versions of the file that I'm working on. Um, again, I want to make sure that I've either selected the Photoshop document or the TIFF that I want to work in. I can. Uh, make sure that I save the layers and then that I embed that color profile. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And as that's saving, um, oh yeah, real quick, um, there's going to be this maximize compatibility. You can turn this off, but you always want to make sure that you are maximizing your compatibility. Now, as that saves, and, and I want to set things up so that everything's really easy uh, to find. So 2019, here's my photo files, here's my Photoshop edits, and then if I need to go back and work on something, I've got these names of files that I'm interested in, and then I know that these are all my final files ready to print. So this is ready to print, and all I have to do to make this for a portfolio is go ahead, open it up, and hit print.